Hey guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting to Reen to episode 2 of Pretty Boy Detective Club. So let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. If only I had a watch this yesterday, but if only my lovely mother had not called me, helped her with stuff, and not get done at 4 in the morning. Oh god, her fucking eyes. Oh my god, I'm already fucking loving it. Wait. Okay. God damn, Shaft. Y'all literally was like, yeah, this is our budget. Infinity M. <laughs> oh my god, they got them all! It's so fucking cute! She looks so pretty with her hair short. Oh my god, stop it. Like, you are killing me, show. Like, this is only episode two. Yeah. So, Mana, what would you like to do until evening? Oh, so he's definitely an Agaragi kun, okay. Uh oh. oh, our house is pretty.
Hmm. Might as well just go back. Hmm? Yeah. Yeah, because you don't want to go back home because then they'll follow you and shit like that. I mean, because they're already following you now. not even gonna explain what the fuck just happened a couple of seconds ago? Maybe. Okay, if it's not that, then what is it? See, in a way, she... She's... Mm, God, you know, fuck it, I'm just gonna say it. She is a female Agaragi, except she's not as, you know... Not a pervert, thank God. <laughs> but I still love Agaragi. I still love him so much. He's still one of my favorite characters. Hmm? <clears throat> Got you. God, it's so fucking pretty. Like, ugh! This whole anime is just fucking art. This is only episode two. so pretty.
Let's not talk about that, please. Exactly. Let me also go ahead and ask this for the soundtrack because I didn't ask this in episode one. Is this the person who does the OST? Were they a part of the Monogatari series as well? Because it, it sounds very similar. God, I can't with his fucking legs. Like, Jesus Christ. So fucking cute. I mean, I know I got some fucking good ass legs, but damn. so fucking beautiful Seriously? A military is
damn, her eyes even look beautiful like that. Oh my god, this fucking show! <laughs> How can you be so sure, though? They're just weird. But it's okay. They're like a normally weird... Ugh. And in a way, you belong with him. Oh my god, look at his smile! She looks so fucking aesthetically pleasing, oh my god. You just look like Hatsume Miku in a nutshell. <laughs> so pretty, oh my god.
is it bad that I now want to see Studio Chef, like, retell, like, fairy tale movies? Oh, my God. Jesus Christ. Because, Jesus, like, ah, oh, that shoe. Yeah. <laughs> Shit, there they are. How can you get that down? You can't even explain that. What the fuck just happened? I mean, you know, a woman saves her and then boom, knock the fuck out. What the hell? May my my precious Sheenable What the fuck? Honestly, like, so once again, this show is just too fucking pretty. Like, goddamn, like, this is probably the prettiest show of this season. I'm sorry, because, like, who else can go in like this but Studio Shop? I'm sorry. Like, oh, my God. Like, mm-mm. Can you imagine if it's got a movie series instead of a TV show? This show will pro the movie would look even more prettier, and I fucking can't. Like, Jesus Christ. Just the subtleness. And then how one way you can go like this and then go completely different. I fucking camp with this show. But that woman, that woman is hella sus. I don't know what the fuck she's been, she's probably going to do with these two. So I'm a little worried about what the hell episode three is going to like endure. But we ain't going to know until like next Saturday. But this was a very pretty damn episode. May looks so pretty with her like whole entire outfit. Oh my god. Like, god damn. This is just a. It's just a pretty, fucking pretty damn good show. I'm sorry. I mean, you know what? And I cannot believe I'm about to say this too, but I, I didn't say this last week. But when I was thinking about it, like, going before episode two came out, she literally is, um, Sendra Hada's and Agarari's Kun child. Like, I don't, I don't even give a fuck what the hell you told me. You say, no, 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 no. She is. She, she looks more like Sendra Hada, like, to a T, but maybe she has a little bit of, like, personality-wise of Agarari Karen. maybe, like, she, she's just a hybrid of both, but she's very smart, very intelligent for her age, but she's just so fucking pretty, like, oh my god, these boys are just, I, I can't, it's too much, like, this is only episode two, uh, ha, ha. But, okay, so are you telling me that the people who came after her when she was walking to school, was that the same? Because that, no, that couldn't be the same people who was just there because those are high school students. So then who the, f the, the military, the uh, the FBI, someone? Because as you said, you, you actually, we all know that you saw a, a military uh, satellite and not a regular one. So now it's just like, who the fuck is this is too much. I need to know. Like, I already know this is based off of a book, but is this book out in English? Like, is it translated in English? Like, your girl might have to read this. Like, your girl still wants to read the entirety of Monogatari because I think once I finished Monogatari, or when I started it as a, um, a Patreon series, I got, I was immediately obsessed with it. But, like, I think if you, I know the books are still even being sold till, till today. Uh, I can't speak. Um, I looked at the box set a while ago. That shit is expensive. Then I, it was the same thing as someone who wanted to buy the entirety series on, like, DVD or Blu-ray. And I was like, nope, because that shit's expensive. And because of the fact is, this series is also owned by Aniplex, this is going to be more expensive than, like, something like... 
oh god um Queen's Love, uh, Mr. Queen's Love, Love Choice, because that's probably going to be very, very cheap, even though no one knows if that's essentially getting a dub, but I would love to see that as well. But yeah, this episode was really, really pretty. I mean, this really focused on the rest of the guys in this group instead of Mana, because, uh, like, literally episode one is May and Mana in a nutshell, and the focus on them. Yeah, a little bit focused on all the other guys, but this second episode focused on everybody else in a nutshell, which is really good, because I, I was a little hesitant. I was like, how are we going to be able to focus and give everybody a really good character development and a moment to shine in like under 30 minutes but really they're they're doing it so well and so it makes me not be like oh, okay don't really need to worry about anything else this is the same freaking company that did fucking Managatari and fucking um Madoka Magica so I mean everything is in their hands it's, <laughs> it's gonna be okay but I really enjoyed it for what it was just want to know what who the hell this bitch is at the end and what the fuck does she want I mean did Mana send her? Because maybe they could know each other because you never really know what the fuck is going on. But we ain't gonna know until next Saturday. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction to be towards episode two of Pretty Boy Detective Club. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And of course, I will see you guys officially all next Saturday for episode three. Bye, guys.